this video was brought to you by Coder Camps. Make games, make money, make history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know what it is, man. It's the one and only hip hop game of Hot 97. I got my man Tim with me. Now, I'm going to give you a little history. I'm going to give you a little story on this Resident Evil 7 game. Before, and it's all my man Critical Eye's fault that's holding the camera. So, before it was called Resident Evil, before we knew it was, it was called The Kitchen. That was the demo, right? And I played the demo, and I got so scared. That not only did I have goosebumps, but my nipples got hard. It was crazy. I was scared. I was done. I couldn't believe it. The sound, this, the, the big lady face that came through. Yo, it was crazy. Now, i never seen VR horror quite like this, quite executed like this. This is a game that I love, but I'm not going to play. Okay. I'm just being honest with you. It, it's scary. How did you guys, what was the um, elements that you guys used to make the immersion of it so well executed? I think that's incredible. Well, hey, awesome question, first of all. So basically the entire plan with Resident Evil 7 is get back to horror. Like, we, we absolutely want to terrify people again. Yes. So first step is whether you're playing in VR or not, if you're playing on Xbox One, PC, or PlayStation 4, it's first person, right? So you're, it, you're in the world. Absolutely. So we have now put people, if for the first time in the entire series, it's in first person. Yeah. So, so you see all the horrors up front, uh, and then when you add on the PlayStation VR mode, I mean, as you've seen, it's just right there. There's no looking away. Like, she comes at you, like she's in your face. Uh, we were talking about the kitchen demo. Yeah. Uh, there's no looking away. You can't cover your eyes. There's a VR headset on, you know? Yeah. So I think that's the idea, is just we want to scare people again. Our fans have been asking to be terrified by Resident Evil, and we're delivering. Now, from a gameplay standpoint, right, um, you still use the controller yeah. with it, right? So you move around, but you can look around like that. So how has gameplay changed from VR mode being off and VR mode being on? How does it all work and operate? That's an awesome question, actually. So, again, whether you play it uh, in VR mode or not, the controls, the game from beginning to end is the exact same content, so it's the exact same experience. But, for example, you know, this lantern demo that we're showing off here, uh, you're being stalked by Marguerite Baker in the, the mansion. Uh, so, for example, you might be able to crouch behind a, uh, you know, a hiding spot as she sneaks by, and with VR mode, you can kind of creep around the corner and see if she's there. So you get, like, a little bit of extra there, but otherwise it's the same game from beginning to end to end um, you know there's gonna be combat there's gonna be inventory management limited resources uh, so those elements from Resident Evil that people yeah. that fans love will still be there but you'll be using the controller it'll feel like a like a traditional gameplay experience that now, way. is this also on is this Resident Evil also on PC or is it exclusive to PS4 so it's gonna be out on PC it's gonna be on Xbox one and it's gonna be on PS4 but if you want to play in VR it's a PlayStation VR exclusive oh. Got, so, oh, got to. It's the PlayStation VR exclusive. Okay. So now, one of my biggest things, one of my biggest questions I want to ask you, and it's going to be tough, all right? But from Resident Evil 1, gameplay, graphics, and scare factor, then to the next Resident Evil is where the fans started feeling like uh, Resident Evil ain't what it used to be, like around Resident Evil 5, yeah. and so like that, like it's not what it used to be, and now you come with this. What was the process like? trying to kind of reinvent the Resident Evil franchise to make it what it is today. What was that process like? So obviously, this year is the 20th anniversary of Resident Evil. Yeah. So it started in 96, back on PlayStation, uh, and obviously started off is a terrifying experience. It basically kickstarted survival horror. Right. Uh, and then over time, you know, in order for a series not to stagnate, uh, you kind of got to shake things up. And then in 2005, Resident Evil 4 came out. And, you know, I saw Resident Evil 5, or I'm sorry, Resident Evil 4. In 2005, Resident Evil 4 came out, and I was looking at it like, alright, well, they've changed away from, like, the kind of fixed uh, camera angles, and now you aim over the shoulder, you can kind of dial in shots. I didn't know if I was ready for that. And I played it, and, like, I didn't know I wanted that. And so Resident Evil 4 is an example of the Developers being able to say like, well, fans may not know it yet, but this is great. They want this. And now Resident Evil 7, I think, re represents sort of the next shift, the next evolution of the franchise, where it's 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 them shaking it up again. You know, this is this is first-person horror. Uh, it's more intense and immersive than anyone has played before. And and so that's kind of the next evolution, the, the next entire change for the for the franchise. Now I got a big question for you, Tim. Big one. And I don't think y'all was ever asked this before so when I was looking at Resident Evil 7 one of the things that came to my mind was that even though this shit is mad scary 
I would love to be able to be the one that's scaring the people. Right. So, have you guys ever thought of having like some sort of zombie mode where when it comes to VR horror, we could be the ones, the users could be the ones delivering the horror yeah, yeah. instead of always receiving yeah. the horror. And what I mean by that is like how you could peek around certain corners. Yeah. Let's say there's people walking around and you could walk, creep and walk around and right. do this and scare the people. I think it would be great to see a role reversal in gameplay yeah. and we could start it where it's evil because I don't know any other game that does that. Man, that's a, I should get my, I get a notepad out, right? Like, let's, let's, let's. Yo, you know me, you family now. I adopted you. So Capcom, Hot 97, we is here now. But what do you think of that? I mean, I love that kind of stuff. I, I like, I'm personally a big fan of a lot of horror, a lot of horror games in general. Uh, Resident Evil Outbreak was one of my favorites and, wow. and that was a game that you played four player online yeah. And you had like this infection rate, and if you got completely infected, you'd turn into a zombie, and you could turn yeah, it around and, yeah, and, yeah. and and harass your friends. And, and Outbreak's a fan favorite, uh, personally and from the community and stuff. So, like the developers have looked at things like that in the past. So, who knows? I, yo, you, oh my, yo, that would be so crazy. As I'm talking to you, I'm thinking of, and visualizing it. It'd be crazy. So, I got two, like two more questions. Yeah. I'll wrap it up. Now, my next big question, and this, I know this is like straight off left field, but I think it'd be dope. Now, have you guys ever thought about doing something with Resident Evil where you're collaborating with like other scary games? Now, another scary game that everybody talk about is Silent Hill. And when Kojima came out with PT, it changed the like world of horror in games. You saw Allison Road come after that. Like there's a lot of stuff so my thing is, how can or will y'all be willing to collaborate with other companies and other developers to make something even bigger outside of Resident Evil? Yeah, so I mean, I'm personally like, like I said, like I'm a huge fan of horror, so I love Silent Hill. You know, I was excited for Allison Road. Uh, I'm excited for Outlast too. You know, I love, I love the, I love horror. I love, I love horror games. Uh, but you know, as far as like collaborations and stuff like that go, I know the guys in Japan are just focusing on making Resident Evil as good as possible. Uh, they want to make it as terrifying as possible. So they're really zoomed in on on making this brand and making this franchise everything that everyone wants it to be. Uh, whether or not you know the the developers in Japan are interested in ever pursuing something like that, that'll be totally up to them. But I know they're all fans of horror too. So now, where does the story come from? Everybody's talking about the uh, the Bates uh, family. Is it ba Baker's the Baker's family? Everybody's talking about the Baker's family. But where does this the story come from? Where does the Baker's come from? Why is it important for us to know them? So that's a great question. So uh, the name of the, the game is Resident Evil, and it takes place in a mansion. So it's kind of bringing it back to basics, and there's a little bit of a focus on family this time, like bringing it back to its roots. Uh, so you get to meet the Bakers. We've seen Jack Baker in the beginning hour demo. Uh, he's also featured, uh, you know, in the um, in our trailers. We've seen in this Lantern demo, you're being stalked by Marguerite Baker, and then there's also uh, a scene at the kitchen table where you get a, to meet the wider family, and it's uh, it, they're terrifying. Uh, but ba but basically, you know, the idea is I, what I love about it is that the mansion, the setting, is almost a character in itself. Uh, and the setting for ever, ever the setting for every Resident Evil game has been uh, a really important part of it as well. And I love that the the Baker family I think gets to inject a little bit more personality uh, into into the franchise. So I'm really excited. I'm excited and nervous to get them get to know them a little bit better. So yeah. Yo, thank you so much. Yo, it's your boy Tim, it's your boy Hip Hop Gamer, Hot 97. Capcom, when the game comes out, man? It's January 24th. It's coming out for Xbox One, PC, and PlayStation 4. If you get PlayStation VR, then you can play the entire game in PlayStation VR mode. Now, well, hold on. I got to say this real quick. Because in the Project Scorpio uh, video, uh, they was talking about the VR that Xbox is going to have next year. Do you? Is there anything that y'all working on with Xbox to bring VR to Xbox with, with Resident Evil or another Resident Evil that'll come later. It's uh, it's PlayStation VR only right now. I tried. I tried. They, these are great questions, man. <laughs> nothing nothing to announce about that now. So. Right, no problem, man. One love and God bless. Play if you can handle it. You can't handle it. I'm telling you right now. VR horror is real thanks to these gentlemen right here. This is my man right here. Tim, God bless, man. Give me a hug, man. I appreciate it. On your hot 9-7 every day, that's my word, and we out of here.